on their own. I mean, it, it, it gives it a whole new meaning to them, I guess. I don't know what the fuck. But anyway, I sat Boy. there, sat there, watched a few episodes, you know, with him and relived, you know, times right. when, when life was beautiful, when, I don't know, before we had we to, didn't have We didn't have the issues, the pandemic. <laughs> pandemic or distraction, depending on how right. you want to look at it. I mean, you know, it could be a fucking NWO. Oh, trying to take over New World Order. Shit. Te- testing. Don't get me started. See how submissive we are. You know, I don't know. I'm just. <clears throat> I mean, I don't get me started on this New World Order shit. This shit's crazy. Well, it once again, like I said, without talking too much about it, it just feels like we're being primed for some. You know, we're giving up right, our. Like- we're giving up our freedoms, you know, willingly. Like, oh shit, uh, stay home, stay. I mean, I mean, and yes, common sense. Obviously, something is out there killing us. There's a bug. <laughs> no, no doubt about that. But, I mean, it, it, it's how easy that was to get us all under house arrest. And then you got a uh, fucking motherfucking Bill Gates. Uh, Wanting to vaccinate everyone, and you went away, didn't you, you son of a bitch? Who? You did. Did I go away? You went away. You were I gone. I did. Now you're here. I, I, I was listening to you talk. Oh, shit. You could listen to me, but okay, the I could tell you were gone. You, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, well, what I was saying is that I was <clears> reading <throat> that this motherfucker wants to vaccinate all 7 billion of us and get some kind of, like, tattooed certificate on us. Oh, just like the fucking, uh, oh, Lord. <laughs> like the triple six, you know, in the Bible. Oof. Or something uh-uh. like that. Basically, if you, oh, or or let's go with idiocracies and with, you know, like they had that fucking barcode. So basically, right. if, if you don't have that, you're unscannable. So people won't do business with you. You can't travel. You have to have your code. Then I become Dennis Leary in Demolition Man. Dennis Leary. Hmm. Remember, remember him in, in Demolition, Demolition Man? Demolition Man, Sylvester Stallone uh, and uh, Blade. Wesley Snipes. And remember how Dennis Leary lived underground? Hmm, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm oh, sorry. That's when, right, boy. I have, when I think of that movie, I just think about uh, how we would be getting tickets left and right. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, what happened? Oh, that guy was listening to Cursory Overload, and uh, he just triggered all those ticket machines. Mr. Pato, you have been fined one credit for the voice violation. The voice, yeah. That means uh, we wouldn't be allowed in Taco Bell, you know, because... I just think about Sandra Bullock having an orgasm. That's what I think about. Hmm. Hmm. Sandra Bullock. Hmm. Yeah. What's that last movie with the football? Gosh, I... Blindside or something? That was good. Very good. Watch this. You're going to want to record this. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was the line in the movie when she walked out onto the field. Yeah, I think we all said that out loud, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Holy mm-hmm. shit. So where were we going before we got distracted here? So what, what's on the agenda today, or we're just talking random shit? I think we're just talking some random shit. I haven't had time to look anything up. You know, you know. The, here's the hard thing. This this is what the, the rough thing is, is that everything, anytime you go online, all they all, all anybody wants to talk about is stupid fucking shit. Well, and yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, me neither, because I, I once again... My fucking conspiracy theorist uh, mind is uh, telling me that they're pumping fear into us. And that's what it feels like. And you know, it's that, like you can't get a moment break. Yeah. You know? And now I'm going to tell them to go fuck themselves. And you know what? Take a break oh, from all that shit, too. If you're going you, away again. You who's listening, actually. Maybe you're going away. Actually, no. We can hear you. Hmm. This is weird. Yeah. He went away this time. Actually, uh, I could hear you the entire time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So. Oh, well, you went away. Oh, that is fucked up. <laughs> Maybe you're not sucking on Chuck Norris' nuts enough. Apparently not. 
Yeah. Holy shit. Hold on. That. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, I need to figure out if, uh, how too many things are on the fucking Wi Fi here. Well, I don't know. So, yeah, so, I, I, uh, I don't know. It, it feels like I, had, I, had, I, would, I think I'd have to agree with you. It's like we're all our rights are being stripped away, and we are willingly. We're just like okay, as long as you keep me safe, I don't want to catch it. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't need that. I, I can, I can live without that. Oh, you want to take away the gun stores? Okay, I, I don't need those. Well, and, like, you know, okay, I, I like my guns, but. I also live in this fucking world right now in our reality that we wouldn't stand a chance either because those motherfuckers, they wouldn't fight you one on one. It wouldn't be that kind, you know, the fucking all they have no. to do is all they have to do is pinpoint where you are, send a motherfucking drone, boink, boink, and that's it. We're done. So, yep. I mean, so while there's nothing wrong with having guns to protect yourself, I mean, like I said, I firm believer of the second amendment i believe we should all have the right to arm bears and um i want an arm bear that would be cool or is it the other way around i can't f is it arm bears or bear arms one of the two well you get the idea all i'm saying right. <laughs> all i'm saying is that i'm well aware that even if i have a motherfucking ar-15 or an ak-47 if uh, i pissed off somebody that has the clout and access to drones and missiles right I am, look at they got they killed jeffrey epstein i am whoops whoops did that come out <laughs> well i mean you know I, I, <laughs> all i'm saying is that uh well he was friends with the current president so oops I, i'm starting to believe that you're right he didn't kill himself Man, he was friends with a lot of people. A lot of people that might belong to the same. You know, I'm starting to think that like this this elite group that Billy and maybe maybe Jobs were part of. Oh, or I, uh, yeah, yeah. I think there's a quite yeah. a few billionaires on that list, and and they they don't like it. They don't have enough control, and and there are certain things are happening for a certain reason. Yeah, like I said, after I heard that, I read about that whole shit where Bill Gates thought that he, everybody should get vaccinated. I mean, then, of course, I started looking more into it, and I came across this other video, this dude just talking how they, basically what, what we're saying, that we're giving up our freedoms, and it's all, you know, they keep telling us the pandemic, they keep pushing fear. And uh, they want to vaccinate us all because he believes that those vaccines are going to have, like, nanotech that will control us. Well, I was watching one video where um, a, a company was having their people, their employees get now these, um, not nanotech, but uh, ID chips implanted. Hmm. Well, not on this watch. Sorry, Jack. You can go fuck yourself on that one. Exactly. At what point in time? I mean, seriously, it's. <sighs> I don't know. Is this all part of a part of a? Is it the Bible becoming true? The revelations finally, the prophecy. Coming to. I don't know. Or what the I fuck sure do it? know. I, I know one thing. If hmm. that's happening, I know a lot of people ain't going to make it to heaven. I know that a lot of the people who think that they know the way to heaven are going to find out that, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna, oh, yeah. They're going to find, you know, that, gosh, don't even get me started on that. Cause the, you see, those are the landmines we try to avoid in every podcast. Uh, there's, three, <laughs> there's three landmines we usually try to avoid with all. That's our intention. Uh, religion. We've hit every every single one of them. Religion, politics, and uh, we haven't Full hit football. We haven't hit football, so I think we should uh, throw the Cowboys in a volcano. See if that sacrifice will please the gods. There, I just wanted to step on the third one. You know. Oh man, he went away. Must be a cowboy fan, and he probably can hear me because if this is fucking up. Can you're going you? in and out. We're going in and out. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Uh, you're not for change. I don't know what the fuck is going on. 
I think we've been targeted. They realize that uh, in between all the bullshit. I hear you for a minute and then you go away. Well, you're for. I'm actually here this time. Hmm. You were here? You were going in and out on me. Hmm. Okay, hmm. let's see. So, um. <laughs> and let's see, what, what else did I do? Oh, I worked a shitload of hours. Yeah. Did you have a good Easter? Did you do all the Eastery stuff? No. Okay. You, I worked. You, I, I worked, and for some reason, this time around, I really, really just uh, lived like it was just another day. Yeah, that's how it was here. It, like, was, uh, it, it was just like, no, I, I'm not in the mood for this. I mean, the kids, obviously, they, they don't get excited about Easter baskets or anything like that. I mean, I guess when you got little ones, you kind of still Yeah, I mean, we have a little one, so she was excited. But, I don't know, like I said, I worked, and then just everything looming overhead. I don't know. Yeah. To we're, me, trying to, we're planning a vacation to try to get away. I think we all just need to fucking get away for a little bit. But where, where to? That's the problem right now. It's like... Here, well, in town, you can't even fucking go to the movies. I miss, I, I mean, I think of Pato's Powerhouse, I was talking about that shit, that I miss going to the motherfucking movies. Going into a room with a bunch of strangers, overpaying for popcorn, overpaying for soda and candy, and just sitting down and enjoying a show. Something as simple as that, that uh, I guess... See, I haven't been missing that. Not really. Well, to me, that that, that, that was one of the things, you know, that... We work hard, so okay. We go catch a movie, then maybe go out to eat later. Uh, right, you know, hanging out with you. hanging out with Daygard at Denny's. Uh, even watching him eat while I had a, just my apple pie and coffee. Right, you know, shit like that. You know, things that fuck. Went to uh, <laughs> Panda Express. I, I was thinking, you know, because uh, my oldest grandson tomorrow he'll be uh, thirteen. He'll he'll be a teenager, and when he was a Younger youngster, he used to call Panda Express Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> we call it Golden Panda. <laughs> Golden Panda. No, because I I remember I sh- we showed up with a uh, Panda Express once, and it's like you went to Kung Fu Panda. So yeah, for the longest time there, we've been calling Panda Express Kung Fu Panda. But uh, anyway, um, we went to the one here in Maricopa, and you can't go inside. They they'll meet nope. you at the door, and they have this like plastic you know protective screen there and and they'll take your order and you just sit out there wait for your order or you can order yep. online and you know time it just right but that's the way it is in most places they won't let you inside uh day guard finally got his internet but of course he didn't have the all the pieces for his computer so we right. we made a run for best buy once again, you can't go in the store. They they come out to you and uh, basically, what the fuck you want, you know? <laughs> right, right. Do you <laughs> know the password? No. So basically, when you when you go to one of those places like that, you got to know exactly what you're going. You you don't have, you can't just go in there and shoot the shit and walk around and you know, like we used to back yeah. in the day, looking at all the new electronic shit. No. We had we went in there for I guess he needed a not the VGA uh, monitor cord the, the the newer ones I guess or the HDMI the DVA to HDMI so he could hook okay. up okay yeah because now he can uh, I guess he can do the gaming thing now he right which I'm trying I'm telling him we have a coworker that that motherfucker spends a shitload of time on that doesn't sleep and he's always sick because his immune system is down. Don't be that motherfucker. Shit, no, don't do not do that. I mean, like, so. so we went to a, uh, I ordered some stuff on Michael's. See, out here at Michael's, the craft store, you have to order online. And then they'll email you when your order is ready, and you can go to the curbside, and they'll bring it out to you. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was different. It was like that for, for Michael's and PetSmart. Um, you know what when i was holes. when i was growing up and uh when my parents uh you know like i said i grew up in a stormy house where sometimes shit hit the fan mom went her way 
dad would go his way and I ended up at my uncle's. 